Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we have got the second update for Trails and Tales Plus. This was meant to release next week. I'm currently setting up a load of new settings for recording and stuff like that, so I couldn't get any other video recorded in time. So instead, the update has been pushed forward. So let's cover what is new within this version. The first thing that's new, when you actually brush suspicious blocks, the particles shouldn't be as blocking. There are also two new items that you can find in dig site loot tables. And them two items, the first one, as you can see right here, is Suspicious Tough. This is a block you can find and it works just like the other Suspicious blocks. It has gravity and you can dig it, but we'll cover what it does in just a second. There is also one more item that you can find here. The other item you can find is the Ancient Script, which will cover what that does in just a second. Let's first of all cover what the Suspicious Tuff does. So you brush this away, just like you do with other Suspicious Blocks, but the difference is, once this one has finished brushing, it will spawn a Tuff Golem. The Tuff Golem will have a random colour of Cloak, so if we quickly just brush this one away, the actual coke color as you can see is brown it can randomly be one of 16 different colors obviously the 16 minecraft colors but you can change the color by right clicking the color of wool you want on to the tough golem for example like so if we want to change this one from brown to cyan also brown to purple or brown to black it does consume the carpet when you do it in survival mode upon death these will drop between one and four tough blocks so if we quickly just kill this tough golem there we go as you can see it dropped three that time around when you give it an item it will sleep and hold that item but there is no current way for it to move once it has an item that might come in the future because in the actual trailer where you could vote for the tough golem they said that it would randomly come to life walk around a bit and then go back to its spot that might come in the future but for now as soon as you give them the item they will not move until you take the item off of them. But they're actually kind of cute when they are sitting still. You can also not knock them when they are sleeping. As you can see, I'm trying to push it and it's not going anywhere. They can be damaged and killed though when they are holding items. So just be aware of that. But if you do like punch them into a different direction, they will line back up to the way they were facing when they went to sleep, which is also pretty cool. And you can have them look in a different direction just by standing and eventually they should look at the player, which you can then give them the item to change the direction that they are looking. So that is the tough golem. So that is the first thing within this update. Next thing is the ancient script. Let's now explain what the ancient script does. The ancient script, when you actually enchant your armor, there is a chance that your armor could be too expensive. So let's quickly just enchant these to be too expensive, which I think we should be able to do just by throwing these on. That's 27, and if I do that, that's 34. Yes, as you can see, they are now too expensive, but we don't have mending on them. Well, what the Ancient Script does is you can put the Ancient Script in with the item that is too expensive. The Ancient Script has to be in the second slot. If you put the Ancient Script in the first slot, it will not do anything. So with it in the second slot, as you can see, it outputs your actual item right here. But when you remove it, the option for it to be too expensive will be removed. And you can now re-enchant them. So as you can see... We now have mending and it's not too expensive. It will reset the enchantment value, but the ancient scripts can only be found from dig sites. They can only be stacked up to one, but they can also be found somewhere else, which we'll cover in a second. And that other way makes them a little bit more farmable. The next thing within this update is pitch pods. So in the last update, we added pitcher slabs. Now you can put one pitcher slab in the crafting table to get two pitcher pods. And these pitcher pods can be placed down in the world, just like most blocks can. But they have a unique use. They work exactly like flower pots. But there's a difference. There is a lot more items that you can put into these. You can put all saplings like you can with flower pots. You can also put azaleas. You can also put all mushroom types. You can also put grass and ferns. They're new to these pitcher pods. You cannot put them inside of flower pots. 
You can also put all flower types, which is also pretty cool. You can also put it to things like sugarcane and bamboo. So let's just quickly show you. As you can see, this is what they look like. Flowering azalea. You then have the mushroom sugarcane. You can also put inside of them. Weeping vines can also go inside of them. Flat grass and ferns, as you can see. But the thing that makes these really unique is they can have other items inside of them, like two tall flowers. Also, uh, twisting vines can go inside of them as well. And also two tall grass, which we'll quickly just show but if we really just grab some of the two tall flowers, you can also put, as you can see, two tall grass and twisting vines. Lilacs can go in them. Pitcher plants can go in them. And if we quickly just grab some more, you can also see rose bushes and peonies. And then the other thing, which is a little bit bugged at the moment, it comes up a bit dark. You can also put the uh, small drip leaf inside of them as well, which I think these are just so cool. And the amount you can do with them is also really cool. When you break them, they will just drop off one of the pitcher pods with the flower inside of it as well. So they're basically just like flower pots. They just have a lot more items that can go inside of them. I think in total there are like 49. There is also a new biome within this update. The biome is quite rare. It spawns just like the mushroom islands. So in the middle of the ocean. But it can also vary in size. We have found quite a big one right here. But you can find them literally like small little islands. And this biome is made up of moss blocks and all lush cave vegetation. You can also find torch flowers and pitcher plants scattered around. As well as some white petals. Best thing about this biome, there is a new wood type. The new wood type is Geoxal wood. I think I said that correctly. At least that's how Google uh, Translate pronounce it. This wood set actually has everything inside of it so let's quickly just grab it all so you have the logs and also the wood you then have the stripped log and stripped wood you have planks slab stairs fences and fence gates and as you can see this is what they all look like you also have sapling which as you can see it looks like this and the leaves the sapling has a chance to drop from the leaves when you break it you also have the door and the trap door pressure plate button sign and the sign does work like 1.20 signs where you can edit it and write on both sides. You then have the boat and you also have the hanging sign. And you do also have the chest boat. So that is everything within this wood set. Uh, it works exactly like oak. So there's no difference between this and oak apart from just the texture. But it's actually really cool to have a full wood set inside of the game that you can obviously build and decorate with. Inside this biome, you can also find Lushroom Blocks. Lushroom Blocks is a new type of mushroom that will spawn inside of the biome. You can pick up these blocks with Silk Touch to build with them, or you can break them down for a new type of mushroom called the Lushroom. This Lushroom can be placed on Moss Blocks, and it can also be bone milled into this tall mushroom. Now let's talk about the new mob within this biome, which as you can see is right here. This is the Suspicious Sniffer. The Suspicious Sniffer doesn't work like the normal sniffer where it will dig up crops. This Suspicious Sniffer will sniff around and when it's found a block it is happy with, it will place down Suspicious Moss Blocks. Suspicious moss blocks are also found in patches around the biome. As you can see just by exploring, there is a patch right here. There is a patch right here. These moss blocks can also be brushed for certain items. The items are common items like I think logs you can find. As you can see we've actually found a jungle log. You can also find most seeds. So wheat seeds, uh, potatoes, carrots. You can also find gold, iron, copper, things like that. And you can also find compasses and a few other things. As you can see, this sniffer is doing it right now. And it's turned it into a suspicious block, which we can now dig out for the item. There is also a new structure within this actual biome. It's not too common. As you can see by standing here, we can only see the one. We can't actually see any others. So it's not a extremely common structure. A lot of sniffers are having fun at doing little uh, spinny dances. But this structure is made up of pitcher slabs and the log. And also it's got pitcher plants, torch flowers and another new flower type. This flower can be found within this structure. 
Also, it can be found from normal sniffers digging the seeds. They have a chance to now dig up the prote flower. Inside this update, there are also four new advancements. The first one is give an item to a tough golem for this is tough work. And that will be granted just by clicking an item on a tough golem. You then have it obtain a lush room for that looks healthy to me. And that's just for having a lush room in your inventory. You also have a uh, brush a suspicious moss block for I have my suspicions. The final one is for placing down or planting the bloom torch flower seeds and that is glowing with delight. The final thing I want to mention in this update about this biome is the underground. First of all hostile mobs. The only hostile mobs that will spawn here are creepers, witches, endermen and also uh, zombie villagers. So they're the only hostile mobs you'll be able to find here. As you can see, endermen are quite common. So this is a new way to get enderbells. Creepers also are quite common. Witches are a bit rarer. And zombie villagers are also a little bit rarer. But the underground of this biome is completely made up of dirt. Or not completely. You can find little patches of stone now and again. But they're not extremely big. You can also find moss and clay. But if we quickly just fly around, you can see that it's mostly made up of dirt. And that is just to bring a little bit of story to the biome. It's meant to seem like this biome is old and ancient. And they haven't quite caught up with the stone and deep slate. But anyway, that is where we are going to end this video. If you did enjoy this video and this update, do let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions for future updates, also let me know. If you want to help with future updates of the mod, join my Discord. We're always looking for people to help with ideas, textures or anything else. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.